Welcome to another video by LSX Engines Tuning and Marine. In this video I'm doing an initial inspection or initial walk around inspection of a 3.0 liter Mercruiser. Um, I've already shown you one video where the uh, engine has a huge, you can see the hole through the block right there. We've already taken the oil pan off just to uh, see what the damage was. But uh, So this is the initial walk around just to kind of show where things are. So. Still got the oil reservoir on there. That's taken off by loosening this rubber strap. And then the line is right there. It goes nowhere. So I want to take that off and set it aside. That'll be one of the first things. So to make sure it doesn't spill. Uh, next, we will be taking off the uh, these two hoses. These are your drain hoses. That's one of your that's your manual drain system up that you use this handle for to move up and down. These these hoses hook up up here. And you drop them down, it'll drain, and to pull them back up, you just pull this handle. It pulls them back up for you. So that's the drain system. Um, it's a neat little, neat little concept. But it's um, it's manual, but it's, it works pretty good. The riser is already the riser elbows are to be taken off because uh, it was had to be taken off to get out of the boat. Um, one round further out. There's your carburetor linkage PCB uh, actually these don't have PCBs I don't think but uh, there's your vent for your crankcase again the water hose comes back there's a the, the way this one differs from the last one there's a, a power steering cooler this this uh, particular engine had power steering there's your power steering pump there so this has a power steering fluid cooler and uh, I've got the line the power steering lines have quick connect fittings on them which are kind of nice that's the uh, that's the high pressure line coming from your power steering pump there, and your low pressure line loops here, loops back under there. Let me follow that around, show where it goes. So it loops around, goes underneath that clamp there, goes right down through here, comes all the way over here to the back of your back of your power steering pump. There's um, that's this is the uh, timing connector on the distributor. This this white wire, I believe, goes to the uh, the shift kill switch, and it's uh, the kiss. I believe the way this works, I'm going to verify this, but you have 12 volts coming to the switch, and when you kill the ignition, you turn it turns on 12 volts, which essentially turns on this bypass. And what that means is if you turn the bypass on, the, the, the ignition module looks for a signal on this wire to time it or to, to spark. Since there's nothing connected, it kills the engine. So um, the only difference is if you connect these two wires, then you have a, a set timing system. Then it will, uh, just like you were set timing, it will, um, so you can use the, kill, the shift kill switch to set your base timing if you wanted to. Um, I'll explain that more later. Your starter connections, um, there's just one wire landed behind there. That's your start signal to your solenoid on the starter. The battery cable has not been taken off. It's up here. Um, again, this thing's kind of dark, so it's hard to see a lot of stuff. Okay, continuing on, I've got the uh, front. Here's the front of the engine. Your, uh, Major coolant hose goes here. The water comes in from your comes in from your water pump on this rubber hose here to the bottom. And then this this is the line that goes out to your water pump on the engine down to here, right down here. That's your water pump. Uh, there's a connector here, connector there. It's like a it's like black, white, and a tan there. And then there's another uh, coolant line there, coolant sensor. Your oil reservoir, reservoir level indicator. Water pump still on this one. Again, there's not much to this. Your alternator. There's the back of the alternator. You've got a, a, a plug, which is easy to not, it's very, you uh, can't mess that up. You got a ground wire strapped to the alternator, and then your output from the alternator, very simple. Uh, fuel line connected there on the carburetor. 
And that's about it. So we're about to start the tear down and uh, I will take photographs and tie them together to show what the steps are to take this thing apart. Thanks for watching.